Assalamu alaikum, this is your Saudi friend. Welcome again to the channel. Today we are celebrating two occasions. The first one is this channel reached 100 subscribers. It might be a small number to you, but it means a lot to me. It means that 100 people are enjoying my content and want to watch more. So thank you. The second one is the Saudi National Day. Saudi Arabia is 90 years old. And I'm so proud to be Saudi, obviously. Our country is amazing and full of beauty and uniqueness. So the least that I can do for this country is making a video. First, I want to teach you two Arabic words. Kingdom means mamlaka. Mamlaka. The second word is malik which means king, Malik. Let's start with our facts for today. Fact number one, it does snow in Saudi Arabia. Even though we're known for extremely hot weather and a temperature that can reach 40 degrees in summer, it does snow. Some areas are on the cooler side. It snowed this year on January on al dahar Alagan and Alouz Mountain. The mountain was beautiful and it's covered in white and it's crazy to see camels and sheep covered in snow. People love snow and rain here. They'll go before even it snows and wait while dancing, making coffee on fire. It looked beautiful, but I don't think that I'm gonna enjoy the cold. <laughs> Second fact is about education. Education is provided for free to Saudi citizens from primary through college. Books are provided for free to school students from the Ministry of Education and college students receive an allowance from the government. Elementary school lasts for six years, middle school for three years, and high school for three years. College is depending on your field. This is one of the things that made me feel privileged as Saudi. Fact number three. Black abaya and niqab are not Saudi. Yes, I was surprised when I learned this. Abaya is a robe-like dress that women wear in a lot of Islamic countries like Saudi Arabia. A niqab is the veil that covers all the face except the eyes. Muhammad Al-Ghamdi is a researcher in the folklore, said that the black abaya started to appear gradually in the 1960s and is thought to be imported from Iraq and the Sham region, or what's known in English as Levant. <laughs> وقد دخلت إلى الجزيرة العربية من القصي محائل ونجد وتسربت إلى الحجاز. He also said that Bedouin women only wore burqa and niqab came from Yemen in around 1970s. And to be transparent with you, I don't know what's the difference. I did my homework, I did my research, I still don't know what's the difference. Fact number four: Saudi Arabia is the largest in the world in producing desalinated water. One of the biggest challenges in Saudi Arabia is water scarcity. Around 50% of drinking water comes from desalination, 40% from the mining of non-renewable groundwater, and only 1% from surface water that comes from the mountainous southwest region of Case A. We don't have a lot of surface water, do we? Fact number five. Hajj to Mecca is considered the largest human gathering in the world. Almost 2.9 million people came to Saudi Arabia to perform Hajj, which is more than the population of some countries. Hajj is an Islamic pilgrimage that is mandatory to be done at least one in their lifetime by all adult Muslims who are physically and financially able to undertake this journey and can support their families while being away. Saudi Arabia has an entire ministry for Hajj, the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah. It aims to make Hajj as easy and smooth as possible. Fact number six. Tax hasn't started in KSA until recently. The first tax was the selective commodity tax in 2017. 100% on tobacco and energy drink and 50% on soft drinks. These taxes are collected from one phase from the supplier and manufacturer and it's expected to increase the state's budget revenue. The following year the VAT started, the value added tax. This tax is an indirect tax that's imposed on all products and services as a percentage of the value of the products. So these companies and sales point will collect consumer tax for the government. Products that are exempt from this tax don't exceed 100 products. It was 5% and in the year 2020, 
it tripled. But the bright side is the economy is doing very well during this corona crisis. These were my six facts for today. Tell me which one was new to you and don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum. I want to take a selfie with King Salman. And Prince Mohammed bin Salman too. He's a cool dude. If I did, I'm gonna brag about it to my friends.